Welcome to the setting up the Respondus Lockdown Browser and Monitor demo. In this demo, you will learn how to set up the Lockdown Browser tab to add security options to your D12 Brightspace assessments. At the end of this demo, any assessment that have these settings set up will require students to use the Lockdown Browser and Monitor. First, log in to your D12 Brightspace account and go into your course. What is the Respondus Lockdown Browser? Respondus Lockdown Browser is a program that locks out other browsers and programs that can be used to copy the assessment or communicate with others. When students take your assessment, they will be prompted to download and install Respondus Lockdown Browser. Students only have to download and install it one time, and there is no fee to the student. Once installed, the student will click on the browser and it will take them back to our D2L Brightspace login page. When they get back into the test, they will be allowed to continue the test. They will not be allowed to take the assessment with any other browser such as Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, or Safari. Respondus Monitor is a companion application for Lockdown Browser that uses webcam and video technology to prevent cheating during online exams. Respondus Monitor integrates seamlessly with learning management systems and is ideal for non-proctored testing environments. Note that sometimes there are programs such as Dell Doc and Skype that are running in the background and may require the student to disable them before Lockdown Browser will open. Now let's set up the assessment to require the Lockdown Browser and Monitor. On the Course Navigation Bar, click on the Course Tools drop-down menu. Then choose the Assessments link. Notice the tabs at the top, Manage Assessments, Question Library, Statistics, and Lockdown Browser. Before you can use the Lockdown Browser tab to add security settings to your assessment, you will need to create your assessment using the assessment tool. For more information on how to create an assessment, view the Creating Assessments and Adding Questions to It demo. The Respondus Lockdown Browser tab is located at the top right of the assessment tool. To access it, click the Lockdown Browser tab. You will then see a list of assessments that you have already built for this course. Click the drop down arrow to the left of the name of the assessment you want to add the Lockdown Browser to. Click Modify Settings. Click the circle next to Require Respondus Lockdown Browser for this exam. Decide to check or uncheck the box next to Require Lockdown Browser to view feedback and results to control access to the results. You can add a password for the assessment in the password field if you choose. Click the plus sign next to advanced settings. You can choose to log the assessment so that students cannot leave until they have finished. This is a setting for use in proctored environment. When this setting is not used, Students can leave the assessment early if their internet connection fails or in a case of an emergency, but will be required to provide an excuse that will be recorded and available to the instructor in the Lockdown Browser dashboard. If this setting is used, you can enter a password to give to a proctor to allow the assessment to be exited early. You can allow the students to take the assessment on an iPad with the iPad app. Note that this does not allow all tablets, just the iPad. Students will have to download and install the Lockdown Browser app from the iTunes Store. You can enable calculator and a standard or scientific calculator will be on the Lockdown Browser toolbar. You can enable printing and a print button will be on the Lockdown Browser toolbar 
allowing the exam screen to be printed. You can click on any of the explain links to get more information about that particular setting. The Respondus Monitor webcam settings defaults to don't require Respondus Monitor for this exam. If you choose to use Monitor, choose from either require Respondus Monitor for this exam or either Respondus Monitor or a proctored lab can be used to take this exam. Depending on your selection, you may see a new section called Startup Sequence. The settings in this section will determine the steps the student will have to go through before they can start their assessment. Webcam Check. You cannot unselect this option because it is a required step. During the webcam check, Students will be required to complete a short audio and video recording to make sure that their webcam is in and working order. Any webcam with microphone will work with Respondus Monitor. If you click the preview link, you will be able to see how this would work for your students. Student Photo This step is optional. If you choose to require this step, students will be required to take a picture of themselves. This would be in case you don't know what they look like because this is an online class. You would then want to compare this picture to the picture taken in the next step. Show ID. This step is also optional. For the Show ID step, you can require the students to show their MTC photo ID driver's license, or any other photo ID that includes their name. You will want to provide specific directions for the type of identifications you will accept. In order to do this, click the Edit Text link and make sure the necessary changes to the default language provided. Make sure you click Save and Close before you continue. Environment Check this is an optional step which would require the students to make a quick recording of the room in which they are taking their assessment. This is to show they don't have an extra person in the room, notes on their desk, cell phone out, extra computer out, etc. As in the previous step, click the edit text link to alter the directions for this step to explain how you want the recording done. For example, do you want a full 360 degree recording of the room? Do you want the students to show their entire desk? You will want to be specific as possible to avoid confusion. Additional instructions. This is the final step and is also optional. It gives you a place to add any additional information or reminders before the student starts the assessment. Click the Edit Text link to change the default language. This is where you can add assessment reminders, the MTC Honor Code, etc. When you are done, click the Save and Close button. Notice the Lockdown Browser and Respondus Monitor columns. This tells you whether or not these tools are required to take the assessment. You have now successfully used the Respondus Lockdown Browser widget.